Before you watch this video, I want you to know that it is very, very stupid. This is also cake icing. Me saying why modern movies are bad, I'm not saying that every single modern movie is bad, every single movie that is new is bad. I'm not saying that, I'm just simply saying that I've noticed that the trend, especially these last few years, where there's not as many good movies, okay? Okay, don't sue me. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it feels like every single day I'm wading through mud. The littlest things are taking so much out of me. All I'm doing is laying on the ground, looking up at the ceiling. Sometimes I'll watch a movie, but finding a new movie that is actually good is so difficult to find because there is an epidemic of bad movies right now. And I don't want to be one of those people that are like, oh, movies were so much better back in my day, but like they actually were better back in my day because what is the garbage that is being produced right now? There are two movies coming out, The Nun 2. I have no concept of time. That movie is already out. And then The Exorcist remake or whatever. I've seen the trailers. First of all, I didn't even need to watch the movie because the trailer just gave away the entire plot, every single thing. There is no reason for me to spend any money on either of those movies when I've just seen it for free from the trailer. Anyways, as I was contemplating my mere existence in this world, I decided to write down why I think that movies are bad. These are my notes. Well, <laughs> if you're coming here for a deep analysis, I'm sorry. I don't have the mental capacity for that, but I want to tell you why I think movies nowadays, modern movies, why I think modern movies are bad. The first point, okay, I think I'm onto something. AI generated scripts. I think that scripts are being produced by artificial intelligence. There is a different vibe between movies now and movies years ago. Disclaimer, I don't think all of it is being produced by AI, but I definitely think the help of AI is in these projects so maybe to help with some ideas or help with some script writing but i don't think all of it is yet in my opinion i don't think it will get to a point for a while before everything is done by ai but i just think that there is definitely ai being utilized <laughs> it's not paying off potentially i don't know also i use ChatGPT as an example just to show you how like a regular civilian can find ideas Obviously, if AI is being utilized, it is not going to be random free services, but like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On the topic of AI, has anyone seen that Maybelline ad with Gigi Hadid in it? I just keep seeing the ad. Why is she with an AI person? The AI doesn't need a mascara. The AI person, like, it's not even real. It's not even a person. What even is it? Like, literally, what even is it? A cartoon? We know that writers don't get paid a lot, which is why the writer's strike is going on. I feel like writers are actually being replaced with ai and that's why everything is so bad at the moment so that's the first point that movie scripts are being generated by artificial intelligence and that's why everything just feels different that's why the vibe feels off it's just not the same this is where i remind you that this girl right here i was going through it okay i'm not thinking clearly or rationally so if this idea is far-fetched it that's why my second point is that movie quality right now is too good. <laughs> I know saying this point, I'm gonna be in the very small percentage of people who actually believe this, but I don't care. Okay, this is what I think. I like movies that have a little bit of grain to it. That's what he wants. No! Become vengeance, dude. You know, a little bit of grain. <laughs> you know commercials on TV? How everything is just so airbrushed and perfect and the quality is really good. That's what all movies look like. And I don't like it. Okay, let me explain. So this is the quality of the latest Scream movie, all right? See, look how good this quality is. Like, they look so clear. But I prefer this quality. See, this is from the first Scream movie. This is from the opening scene. I prefer this kind of grainier quality. I don't know why, but like, I just prefer this. And I know I'm in the small majority, but you know, I don't know. Criminal Minds. I like that sort of textured graininess. Okay, so this is from one of the, this is like from the first season. Look how like that grainy footage. I hated the later seasons because everything was just too clear. And then this is from the latest season. If you see, like it's nowhere near the same. Like it's it's just, it's not the same. I don't know. It just felt like it was a commercial. I, I'm like, am I watching a commercial right now? Same as Sex in the City. The new season of that, 
the quality was just too good of the cameras. And maybe it's because I grew up watching movies that had bad camera quality. So now I'm just used to bad camera quality. This is basically just the familiarity principle where people like things that they already know, which explains why I feel like this. In other words, this is simply a me problem. <laughs> but with the Scream movies, for me personally, little quick ranking of Scream movies, by the way. Scream 1, best. Scream 4, loved. The rest of them, I don't care about. But the last Scream movie that, that just came out just like now, why is it looking like it's a commercial quality? See? Like, that's just my personal opinion. And I know that probably not everyone's going to agree with me. Literally no one is going to agree with you. Um, But that's, this is my personal opinion. Like I said, this is not some proper analysis. This is me just giving my theories on why I think that modern movies are so bad because there is an epidemic. There's definitely an epidemic of bad movies. <laughs> my third point is that everything is a cash grab. We're getting spin-offs and additional movies to franchises that didn't need anything else. Side brand, I can't believe I didn't mention this, but the Harry Potter reboot and then there's gonna be a Twilight reboot. Why? Make new things. There does not need to be a reboot of something that was already good. The only reason why they're doing it is because Harry Potter and Twilight were very successful. So by making this TV show, people are still going to watch it. People are either going to watch it to hate on it and be like, the old one was better, or to watch it and be like, oh, this new one's better. Like, why? Stop. Make new ones. It's just a cash grab. And that just annoys me. It irritates me. For example, Toy Story. Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. That's it. That's all we needed. It ended off with Andy going to college and all the toys lined up <sighs> one of the saddest movie scenes if i watch that movie scene i will cry you think you can take care of him for me <laughs> all the toys lined up saying goodbye to andy as he goes off to the new adventure there didn't need to be a new movie and i'm only bringing this up because i did actually see the fourth one when it came out in movie cinemas but i've like blanked that out of my mind um because like what and then apparently they're making a fifth toy story <laughs> why why? Because it's a cash grab. Because no one has any more new ideas, so they just keep making sequels to things that don't need anything. Like, everything was wrapped up perfectly. There did not need to be anything else. Okay? That was it. That, no more. And it's not the same, because the animation is different. The animation is different. The vibes are different. I don't like it. Okay? I don't like it. Again, this is just my personal opinion, so whatever. It's just a cash grab. Because I know that people are still going to watch it. I know it makes sense from a financial point of view, but that doesn't mean I like it. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This then leads me on to my next point, and that is that everything has already been done. Everything has been done once before. And so we're just getting the same movies with just different characters. I don't actually really know what can be done about this because you may think that you have an original idea, but if you look it up, there'll be something very similar to what you're thinking. There's really nothing you can do about that there. <laughs> the next point that I wanna make is that there are too many movies. I feel like instead of just spending a lot of time and effort onto just one movie, there's just too many movies. Like, look at Barbie, for example. I've not actually seen Barbie, but I know that a lot of time, money, and effort went into that movie, and it appears that it has paid off. Let me elaborate on this. So for the Barbie movie, a lot of time, money, effort was put into this movie instead of them making, like, 10 movies using the same budget, time, effort. You know what I'm saying? So, like, sometimes just stripping it back and focusing on one movie to make it really good, like what happened with Barbie, that's what needs to happen instead of there being, like, a thousand other movies spreading out the time and energy. Do you, does that make any sense? I didn't really explain that very well, but that's the kind of point that I'm trying to make, that it's that Barbie is good, even though I haven't seen it. I've seen enough of it to know that it is good, and that even though the quality is too good, at least it's like really colourful. You know, it doesn't really feel like a commercial because it's all the pink and everything. I just figured it out. You know how I was talking about it being a commercial? I feel like the problem with movies is that it's too realistic. It feels like it could actually happen, and a lot of people watch movies for escapism and everything, and that, that is the reason why. Not just commercial, like it's, it just feels too real. That's the point I was trying to make. It just feels like every single week, oh, a new movie is coming out. A new movie is coming out. A new, and then you just can't really get excited about anything. You know, it's like, there's this movie and everyone gets excited to watch it. And then you watch it and it's like amazing. But there's just too many movies coming out and there's like no more of that build up. It's just kind of like, oh, a movie's coming out. When? Like tomorrow. I already kind of touched on this at the start, but trailers are just giving away everything. So all the secrets and plot twists and surprises that you would get in the movie, you are not getting anymore because you've already seen it in the trailers. I refuse to watch trailers solely because I know they're going to give literally everything away. Everything is going to be given away. Like I said, with The Nun and The Exorcist, I have seen the ads. Look, the, the trailer was like two minutes, three minutes long. Trailers don't need to be that long because now I know exactly what's happened. And it's just, it annoys me. Like, it, like, it just actually annoys me. 
There's nothing else I can really say about that. That's all my points that I have about why I think modern movies are bad right now. I think part of the reason is also actors. I don't know if I'm going to get lynched for saying this. They feel like they're just reading a script. I don't know, it's just really bad. And I'm just like, um, this is terrible, honestly. But that's all I have to say. If you have a reason why you think that modern movies are bad, then let me know. This is just kind of a rant because I feel like ranting. And this has been on my mind. You know what? I should make a movie. I'm not going to, but imagine that. You know, maybe I should. Maybe I should try putting my time and effort into making a, a proper horror movie and try to see if I can do a better job than some of the stuff that's being currently produced. I should do that. Watch me never do it. <gasps> buy mouse pack. I forgot to say that. Oh my god, I forgot to say buy mouse pack. Why did I even come up with that? I don't even know how I came up with that. Anyways, I know that this video is technically over, but I want to give a haul of some of the things that I got from the shops because I've got no one else to show it to. So, let me show you what I got. So, the first thing, I got these nail polishes because I like nail polish and I needed, like, blue ones because I don't have, like, these kind of blue. Then I got this. <laughs> guys, this is because, this is to show you for, like, mouse pack. You know how I call you guys mouse pack or mouses? This is our mascot. And I even painted his nails. Look, I painted his nails. I got this. This is from The Night Before Christmas. Don't you just, it's so cute. I love him so much. This is hands down the best stuff to put on your lips. I also got this. It's a night before Christmas snow globe. It was only $20. Like, and I saw I had to get it. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is. Now, let me show you some outfits. I got this dress. I got it because it looks like a little bit like a princess dress. Like, with the puffy sleeves. And then I got this. Isn't this just so cute? And it's got, like, a fluffy thing here. I love it. And then I got this shirt because it's pink and it was on sale. By the way. Is she, is she naked? Okay, I got this shirt. And basically, all of these clothes, they were all on sale. The clothes were like originally like $40, $20, and I got them all for like $13. So, I love sales so much. Oh, there's a Nirvana. Quick, name five Nirvana songs. You name five Nirvana songs. In fact, no, no, you're going to sing. You sing every single song that they've ever produced. Ever. <laughs> this is completely different. Um, I like coins. I don't know. I just, as a kid, I used to collect the coins, like the special coins that had like things on them. So then my grandma, she gave me like her old coins. Like there are things like pennies, you know, and I got these coin books and I'm going to show them to you. I'm doing this in case it gets stolen so then I can prove. Okay. Look at that. Look, that's the Matilda's one. And then these are like the bigger coins that I like, can't fit. So like these are like some of these coins are from like the like 1800s. Like I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. There's one of this like Princess Diana and... Look, that coin is from... Okay, let me flip it up. That coin is from 1981. Okay, if you look at the date, can you guys see that? 1862. Look, that's old. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of a germaphobe. So I did wash the coins because I was just like... The 1800s, I was like, wait... They were like proper like diseases back then. Like these need to be washed. I'm pretty sure the diseases would have been killed, but like whatever. That's it. I'm going by.